In class activity three, for the following continuous time plant transfer function, what is the equivalent discrete time transfer function for the plant in series with a zero order hold? So first thing we're going to do, I'll find GI of S first this time, is GI of S, which equals GP of S over S, is equal to S plus two over S times S plus one, which equals A over S plus B over S plus one, where A is equal to two and B is equal to negative one. We found those by using the cover up method. So G I of T is equal to two minus E to the negative T U of T or G I of N T, the discrete time function is equal to two minus E to the negative N T U of nt. So now we take the z transform of gi of nt and we get 2z over z minus 1 minus z over z minus e to the negative t. When we get a common denominator and collect like terms, this becomes z squared plus z times the quantity 1 minus 2 e to the negative t over the product of z minus one and z minus e to the negative t. This can also be written as z times z plus one minus two e to the negative t over the product zero minus one times z minus e to the negative t. And finally, gp of z is equal to z minus one over z times z times z plus one minus two e to the negative t over z minus one times z minus e to the negative t. You cancel out your common terms here, which are this one and that one, that one and that one. And the final answer is z plus one minus two e to the negative t over z minus e to the negative t. So now let's start the final activity for today's lecture on zero order hold and sampling plants. For the following continuous time plant transfer function, what is the equivalent discrete time transfer function for a plant in series with a zero, zero order hold? So GP of S is equal to one over S plus two times S plus one. So GI of S is equal to GP of S over S, which equals one over S times S plus two times s plus one. So by using the cover up method, we can find that a is equal to one half, b is equal to one half, and c is equal to negative one. So we can write this as one half over s plus one half over s plus two minus one over s plus one. So g i of t is equal to the quantity one half plus one half e to the minus two t minus e to the negative t u of t. Or in discrete time, g i of n t is equal to the quantity one half plus one half e to the negative two n t minus e to the negative n t u of n t. Taking the Z transform, we get G I of Z is equal to one half Z over Z minus one plus one half Z over Z minus E to the negative two T minus Z over Z minus E to the negative T. Now the algebra does get a little messy, but I will tell you the answer so that you don't actually have to do this algebra. It is one half Z times Z minus E to the negative two T times Z minus E to the negative T plus one half Z times Z minus one times Z minus E to the negative T 
minus z times z minus 1 times z minus e to the negative 2t. That's the common denominator between those three terms. So in the denominator, you're going to have z minus 1, z minus e to the negative 2t, and z minus e to the negative t. So gp of z will equal z minus 1 over z times gi of z. This is also lots and lots of algebra that can be simplified. I will spare you the details of showing you all the steps, but I will write the final answer. GP of Z is equal to Z plus E to the negative T times 0 0.5 E to the negative 2T minus E to the negative T plus 0 0.5, all of that over z minus e to the negative 2t times z minus e to the negative t. And this concludes today's lecture on sampling continuous time plants with zero order holds. Have a great day.